That's Susan Lloyd. Melody James. My name is Phil Neal. Yeah. A Christmas Carol was quite the thriller uh, with its fair share of ghosts. And the ghosts had superpowers. What, what are they called, the ghosts? And uh, what can they do with their superpowers? Ghosts of Christmas past, ghosts of Christmas present. Christmas future, and they can take you to the past and the future and show you what might be, what has been. Yeah. And there was one more, like a presenter type guy. Oh, I've got no idea. Christmas Carol is the one with the little boy with the bad leg, wasn't it? Yeah. Just hobbling about. It's a sort of like. He does die, I think. Yes, that's correct, yes. Um... There's always one that gets forgotten. There's a fourth ghost. What was it? I always forget. It was just, it was just Mowgli. Mowgli's a jungle uh, book, I think. Yeah, Mowgli's jungle book. Yeah. <laughs> not Charles Dickens. That one. Definitely not Mowgli. Jacob Marley. Oh, Jacob Marley. Jacob Marley. Yeah, I remember him and his chains, etc. <laughs> Charles Dickens had an obsessive compulsive disorder. True or false? I think that's true. False. False. True. He did. Oh, he's not very good. He's a. Uh, Comb his hair like a hundred times or something. I think it was quite um, yeah, it's quite into him. So <laughs> Charles Dickens believed in fairies. False. True. False. <laughs> I made it up. I don't know that, but it could be true because of the, his contemporaries. I made it up. Oh. It's not true. It's not true. But maybe, maybe <laughs> he did. You don't. Okay, last one. Charles Dickens was the first to use unicorns in literature. True or false? Unicorn. Unicorns. I would have said that's true. False. False. Yeah. yeah. If he did, I haven't read the one that it was in. Oh, well, there you go again with your trick question, do you see? No, it's a true or false. It's not no, a trick I'm question. Sure about, I'm not too sure about this OCD and all no, that. No, 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 that's true. And all that that's true. Sort of thing. Oh, that's well, true. I mean, you, you've done your research, which I, which I yeah, respect. I respect. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What does Charles Dickens look like? Charles Dickens look like <laughs> small fat dude with a beard. Could you draw it for me? I can't draw. Could you give it a go? Absolutely not. It's a very quick drawing. Oh, go on then. <laughs> Schoolboy error there. Yeah. What, what, I don't understand what's going on there. Well, I don't know either. I don't know what's going on here either. <laughs> so as a writer, so maybe he had a has he got a pipe? I don't know. Curly hair. Did you see that? I nearly took my face off. So just uh, talk, me, talk me through this story. What was a fat chubby dude. With small hands. Big eyes. Better grip around the pencil. Yeah. And then he got a nice smiley face with big teeth. Big circular eyes. Thin eyebrows. But I, I think he also had a moustache. What about sideburns? Didn't he have si big, hairy, I don't, bushy, I manly sideburns? I don't remember them. He might have had them, but I don't remember them. That's a nice hat. I wish I had that hat. That's pretty rubbish. <laughs> it looks a bit more human. Uh, this is Charles Dickens. It's a picture of Charles Dickens. <laughs>